What's going on everybody? It's your boy D to the Izzy and today we are talking about Titan Residuum and Hardcore Raiding Guilds as the Mythic Race starts today. When your mark is set, go. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding this whole Titan Residuum thing. Let's just call it out what it is, okay? Uh, mythic rating, world first rating, it is difficult. It is hard, okay? People's already stressed out. Okay? They're missing the doctor's appointments. Kids aren't going to school. All right, cars are breaking down. They're walking backwards and forwards for no reason. Heads are spinning in directions you never even thought possible. Okay, it's causing lots of problems, people. It's chaos out there. People losing their mind, okay? Blizzard is throwing snow, rain, sleet, hail, and all kinds of stuff right on top of their head going, you can get through it. You all right? Like, come on, okay? Come on, okay, let's talk about Titan Residuum. Titan Residuum is something that you get from armor. You break it down, right? And then you take this Residuum in a bag, throw it in the bag, and you go and you take it to some dude over here and he'll be like, yo, man, you got some Residuum? He's like, yeah, I got a whole bag. He's like, nah, I need more like a truckload. Cool, cool, cool. I got G GMC in the back. Nah, I need a truckload. I need like a huge, like U-Haul. Like U-Haul, you got U-Haul? I need U-Haul status. Like, yeah, yeah, I just moved a whole building right there. No, I need like a building. Like a building worth? Whole building worth. Okay, so you're going to bring this whole building worth of residuum, right? And you give it to him, and he he give you, you got a pair of shoes. <laughs> Life is over. You're done, right? No. You got to bring another truck load, another building load for your chest armor, head armor, weapon you don't like can't transmog for some reason all that you need all of it okay they basically take <laughs> this residuum this currency and 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 they, t they tell you okay look now you whatever trait you want whatever you want whatever you wished for it could be yours it's this easy sound like a damn infomercial right it could be yours for the small price of 6.99 or whatever it is for the random right so it works out two different ways. If you pay less and you get a random RNG type situation where you just kind of choose a helm and hopefully it has your Azure traits, let's pray, probably not. Or you save up a little, little you know, you save up a couple more weeks, do some more Mythic Plus, do some more of this, a little more of that, play some chess, lose for no reason, and then come back, eat a Pop Tart, and then there you go. Now you got some, you got one piece. You got one piece, shine it up, use some, use some Dawn, you know, just. Shine it up real quick, okay? Look at, show it everybody. Don't wear it. Put it on a trophy case. Take it back down. Put it back up again. Look at it sideways, crooked. I don't know. That's how crazy stuff is right now. I can't even think straight. That's how crazy it is right now, because these guilds are coming together and they are creating huge lists. These these lists of people. They're like, yo, we need help. Hook us up with some people. Anybody that can help us, we need to filter our gear down to to the to our mains. Alts, the mom, sisters, cousins, two dogs is probably coming with us this raid. We don't even know. We need all the help we can get. Okay? And so they're filtering all this gear down. And basically what filtering is, right? You bring in a bunch of people into a, 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 a raid or a, a dungeon. And whatever gear drops, you just give it to this one person. Everybody, give it to this one person. Right? So Jeff. Jeff's getting all the gear. Everybody give the gear to Jeff. Right? Don't matter if you need it. We don't care. Give it to Jeff. Because Jeff's part of the top rating guild. He needs it. Give it to Jeff. Jeff takes all this gear, takes it to the thing, breaks it down, brings a building, gets a piece, piece of shoes. That's what happened. That's how this is going down. You copying? You feel me? Moving on? Moving on. Okay. So, what's creating the frustration is that now you're taking something that's already competitive, already beyond super competitive. Something that I wouldn't in my right mind even try to do. I tried it once. Not me. Okay? I'm not going... You're not going to tell me to get no three characters up in a week. It's not going to happen. Not me. It's not what I do. Okay? But you're going to take this system, right? And Blizzard's going to, Blizzard, Blizzard basically, I'm sorry, Activision Blizzard. Let's get that correctly checked right now because Blizzard ain't Blizzard no more. This is moving on. AB. We're going to call them AB from now. AB basically saying, okay, now you got to take this residuum. You got to figure out how to break this all down mathematically figure out how many pieces you need, okay, mathematically, and then you can go ahead and then pick, you can actually pick the traits that you are going to need, that are going to be required for you to maximize your character's potential while you're raiding, mathematically, systematically mathematically. You following me mathematically, right? 
So you're adding an extra level of complexity to an already complex system, right? I don't even understand. Like if I had hair, right, and I tried to do this system, if I tried to lead a raiding guild to be world first and I had hair, this would be, my skull would be inside out. I would be, I would be, I, I would be upper capped, upper capped, just flipped for no damn reason. I, I'm just saying. So I don't know what the system is going to change. You know, it, it, it did change one thing. It did change one thing. It did allow uh, you to be able to choose your own Azerite trait. That is one system they did correct. So, clap for that one, right? It created such a headache that a guild even transferred to the opposite faction. They transferred to the opposite faction because they were so hungry due to the quest against overwhelming odds, which because the Alliance didn't have as many people participating in World PvP or whatnot, they were able to receive an additional war mode bonus of up to 30%. 30%. Come on now. 30%? Now on top of that, they got a quest that for completing this rewarded them with an item level 400 piece of gear. Right? And this whole system is so crazy driving you insane in the membrane that they actually transferred. They actually went over. They said, nah, bump that. We're going to transfer. Now, I know what you're saying. Why would the hell would they waste that much money? But they didn't waste actual real money. A bunch of people saying that. A lot of controversy going around. They didn't do that. Okay? They was the ones going through. You see them post, like, you need your epics? We'll run you through the raid. One million gold, whatever the case may be, okay? So, you know, transferring into the cash or Blizzard Bucks. We'll call them Blizzard Bucks. Or Active Blizzard Bucks. Or active, active Blizzard Bucks. Okay, And they used that and they transferred over just to get this item. Then they're going to transfer back. To start the raid. Anybody else? See the, see, the, see the seriousness and how stupid that is? Not that not they're not stupid, but the system is stupid to make them do that. To make them feel like this is what we gotta do to be competitive. We're gonna take this extra step. And you can't really hate on them for doing it. You can't really call them cheaters for doing it. It's a system that's put in place, and you know, they was like, oh well, the alliance aren't doing this. We're gonna we're gonna be the alliance, we're gonna get the weapon or the item, whatever, and come back over. We give us an advantage. When you're in a competition, you're allowed to take any advantages and any and all advantages that you need to take as long as it's within the rules, right? If it's within the rules and you're not breaking the rules, right? Then you should be allowed to do whatever you want to do. Now, does this give them an advantage? How big of an advantage could it really give? Could give an advantage, it could not. Now remember, a lot of those awards are randomized. A lot of people could have had already could have already had 400s and then got a 400 top of 400, thus negating the whole process. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, in the end, it's going to be very interesting. This is probably one of the most interesting races that we're going to see. Uh, is this one specifically because of the way it was the way it was designed, with the the split of horde and alliance and how the encounters are going. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to play out. So the question is. What are all the other guilds going to do? What are you going to do when server transfers come for you? How are you going to beat this? What you going to do? Show us what you going to do. Show us what you going to do. You going to marry around and go to Disneyland? Is that what you going to do? Hmm? Two eggs and a biscuit? Hmm? Three umbrellas and two shoes? Hmm? Three skies with no, 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 no clouds? Hmm? Going up and going down just saying, Whoa, we did it. Before you even started? Hmm? We don't know. But we're going to find out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Who's going to be the winner of this race? Who's going to take number one, two, three, four, five? Who is the king when it comes to no matter the content? Now, the thing I want to know is, what do you think about Titan Residual? Let me know what you think about Titan Residual. Do you think that this system is a good system in its entirety? Do you think that they could do better? What could they do better? How much did it really affect the raid? How much do you think this is really going to impact number one? Let me know. I have a link below letting you guys know where to go to actually follow the race from Star to Fini. So please, if you like the video, please like, hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to me as I keep going, keep doing my thing. This is D to the Izzy, and I'm checking out. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.